Hey guys, what's going on? This is my Shelby AC Cobra by Shelby Collectibles. It's the 427 Cobra. I'm going to do a review of it, but uh, I'm going to just show you what it looks like in the box first. And then I'll do a separate video because I do not know how to edit. So authentically detailed engine, interior and chassis, doors, uh, hood and trunk open. You've got your chrome detailed accessories. You've got your chrome wheel or chrome wheels plus. Uh, these do have red knockoffs. And this is the 427 Cobra. It comes in a collector's box. And a little bit of history on it. I'll just go over it. Carol Shelby designed, the legend, designed and created the legendary Cobra in 1962 and changed the face of American automotive design forever. His Shelby Daytona Coupe or 1965 FIA World Manufacturers Championship, a feat which no other manufacturer, uh, American manufacturer has ever matched. He worked with Ford. Uh, creating the 289 Cobra, the Cobra Daytona Coupe, 427SC Cobra, and the Racing GT40. Uh, he also did the Mustang GT350 and GT500 with Dodge, uh, creating the Shelby Charger, the Lone Star, the G GLH, GLHS, CSX, and Viper, as well as the Shelby Series. Uh, one from uh, the ground up utilizing internal resources and premium outsourced suppliers with his 40 plus years as an automotive innovator Carol Shelby promises uh, to reach w well into the future top his legacy that's very late right now Carol Shelby's legacy promises to reach well into the future with future products such as the Shelby Cobra Ford GT50, the Shelby uh, GR1, and the 2007 Ford Shelby GT500. And this is licensed by Ford and by Carroll Shelby. There he is. And, you know, you can read this. I'm not going to go through it. You can freeze it if you want. But anyway, I'm going to do an unboxing of this one. And as you can see, this is the color I went with. It was a fight between this and the red. And because the red, I, I, I found those knockoffs to be redundant on the red ones. Uh, and I wanted one to look a little more authentic. And I think this one was a good choice. But anyway, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Take it easy guys, later on.